I mean, it's like a sin, it's a taboo if you don't deliver like a Hebrew woman. I felt very sad, like I was so confused, but I didn't even have the time to make the decision. It was like, right now, we have to make that decision to save mother and baby. Guys, I'm about to... We're about to talk about what we're gonna talk about. Uh oh. Guys, I am putting together my look. I haven't taken a picture in a while. I haven't done anything to myself in a while. So guys, how are you feeling my outfits today? Is this 10 on 10 or what? <laughs> I decided to come and represent all the way today. <laughs> Guys, I was feeling myself too much today and I decided that I'm just gonna do it up. But then I also have a very important topic that we, I want us to talk about. I'm sure you already know what the topic is from the title. You know what it is. So we're gonna talk about it. Guys, look, look, look. I'm so loving this, my head wrap. This is 100% handmade earrings. Um, I don't know if you can see the full length of the necklace, but this is me today feeling like a true Nija girl. Hey, Nija, 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 Nija. <laughs> anyway, guys, what's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I am that Nija girl, and if you are a new subscriber thank you for subscribing to my channel if you're a returning subscriber you are the mvp thank you i appreciate the love and support and if you are just passing by guys just stop for one second and click that subscribe button because i promise you you will not regret being on this channel thank you so much for the love and support guys today i have a very 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 important topic something that i something that has been weighing on my mind for quite a bit now and it's this issue of c-section versus vj delivery i feel like there is such a stigma around c-section especially in nigeria like i grew up in nigeria and all that i heard about it like i never even knew anything about c-section to be honest but then looking back and seeing how many women have lost their lives because they've been stubborn to the point where they're like, no, I'm going to deliver like a Hebrew woman. We all know that scripture. I want to deliver like a Hebrew woman. So against all odds, against all of the advice and recommendations from your doctors saying that this pregnancy is really risky and you know your health condition, you know exactly what you're going into, but you say, no, I will deliver like a Hebrew woman. I have to deliver like a Hebrew woman. So I will put all that aside and risk it all. Guys, so many women have lost their lives and that of the baby that they're trying to bring into the world because they are wanting to, you know, not have that stigma around them that they had a C-section baby. And women, I feel like women tear women down a lot to the point where women are just not comfortable with even um sharing that they had a c-section there's some women that you know they ignore the ignorant comments about c-section deliver because they know that is what is beneficial for their um, health and the safety of their babies and for them but then when you ask them how they had their babies they go as far as lying like guys i don't think like that's something to lie about they go about lying and talking about no i didn't have a c-section and stuff like that because they're so ashamed guys having a c-section does not make you more or less of a woman does not make you more mother than i am does not make you more um of a mother than i am it's a c-section the whole purpose the goal the end point is for mother and baby to be all right so guys, whatever way that you have your baby, like I hear this so often, like, oh, like, um, oh, you, you, um, you're, you're planning to have a C-section. Oh, you're not woman. Ah, you're not try you. You're not try you. Girl, you're not try you. Like, I don't understand it. 
it's like oh so you're so lazy you can't even push your baby and stuff like like guys there's nothing wrong with a c-section you're not gonna believe it like even up into the point like i had a uh, my first child was a vj and then my second child was a c-section but i was so scared like mine was an emergency c-section it wasn't planned or anything it was just last minute my daughter decided that she wanted to come face down um, face up i mean and then so they had to do this emergency c-section to get her out safely and i know like for a minute like i stopped that stopped me in my tracks because all of the comments and things that i've heard growing up like from nigerians talking about c-section oh it's I mean it's like a sin it's a taboo if you don't deliver like a hebrew woman i felt very sad like i was so confused but i didn't even have the time to make the decision it was like right now we have to make that decision to save mother and baby right and so i went with it now looking back i'm thinking like why did i even let that thought even flood my mind like at the end of the day your baby is safe you as a mother you're safe that's all that matters there is nothing wrong with having a c-section if you have to if you have to i don't like honestly i cannot even understand or why anybody will feel less of a woman because you chose to have your baby through c-section to save a life to save your life or to do whatever you need to do or sometimes it's just because that's the route that you just want to go i don't think that there's anything wrong with that but guys I just had this whole thought and I felt like I just had to let it out. I had to say something about it, but all of the stories about, I think it's this whole Hebrew woman scripture that gets all the women like, you know, confused with what is um, important for their health. Like they're talking about this, but I also remember like the Hebrew women, they said they were, they were vigorous, they were spirited and all of that stuff. Like some of the women that are, you know, quoting the scriptures, I will deliver like a Hebrew woman. No, I cannot do C-section most of them are not even active in their lives they just sit down on the couch and do nothing and then they know like they have a lot of health complications they have a lot of health issues but still you are like no i will deliver like a hebrew woman so i'm gonna put my head into it even when everything points to the fact that this is a very risky venture like at that point i think it's just a selfish thing but that's my opinion that's my thought guys what do you think about c-section versus um bj delivery do you what was what's your story like did you guys have a c-section did you have bj are you opposed to c-section are you um pro c-section or pro bj what what are your thoughts basically like your experiences i like to hear your experience i like to know what you guys have been through because for me that's just my thought there's nothing absolutely wrong with having a c-section but guys thank you so much for watching for hearing me rant for hearing me talk but guys also tell me what you think about my outfit today because i'm feeling myself i'm feeling myself guys don't forget to give this video a like it's so important please give us a like comment down below your thoughts share with your friends share with everybody that you know and also don't forget to subscribe it is 100 free to subscribe guys subscribe to your girl let's grow this channel together thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye